What a location for the Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series 2021. We are here at the iconic Downpatrick Head to witness 24 fearless athletes as they take on the wild Atlantic Ocean. Travelling at a speed of 85 kilometres per hour and jumping from heights of up to 27 metres. Each one battling it out to win the prestigious Kaya Keeley Trophy. Doonbrishta, meaning broken fort, was once part of the mainland and it is one of the big attractions here at Downpatrick Head. Standing at 45 metres tall, it has been climbed by only a handful of people. Hassan, lovely to talk to you today. Tell us a little bit about what your role is here at the Red Bull Cliff Diving. So my role, I'm a competition director uh, and so my role is taking care of all the sport, like really like from the rules, regulations, uh, uh, wildcats for the diver, World Series ranking, judges, so everything that it's uh, touch base with the with the sport. Excellent. And what is this location like for you guys? You know, compared to your last stops along the way. This location is just, I mean, it's just amazing, really. It's the color of the rocks, the grass is super green, uh, the water is cold but still beautiful. And today we have a really nice weather, so it's just, it's just the perfect spot, really. And would you rate this site as a challenging site for the divers? It is, it is a challenge, uh, it's a big challenge here for the divers because particularly because of the weather, because the water is just 15 degrees mm -hmm. and outside is between 15 and 16. Today was a good day, but yesterday we had first round and second round, it was, it was raining. Can you see yourselves coming back again in the coming years? Oh yeah, definitely. I wish that we're going to come back. We've been already in Ireland a few times, uh, but this spot now I think we find the, 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 the perfect spot, especially also that we have off the cliff. And, uh, and like Carlos Jimeno, the, the Spanish diver, he did the first handstand ever off the cliff. So I think probably we have to think even about to make a full competition of the cliff without the platform. Okay, I saw that. That was very impressive and very scary as well. You guys obviously scouted this area out beforehand. Have you scouted any other, other areas in Ireland that maybe you might potentially come back to in the future? Well, we scout a few, but nothing that I can tell you right now. Okay, so it's a secret. <laughs> Top secret. Cool, looking forward to that one. Iris, how has this location been for you? Um, I mean, it's an amazing location. Uh, the cliffs are beautiful. It's a beautiful spot, like you just take in all this energy. How many years does it take to get to your level, do you think? Um, so I did my first Red Bull competition in 2016, but this is now my first season as a permanent diver. Um, I'm a special case, I think, compared to everybody else because I don't come from like gymnastics background or diving background. I just watched the cliff diving in 2013 and 14 and I was like, wow, that's amazing what these girls do. It doesn't look too hard, I think I can do this too. So you only started then? <laughs> yeah, and then I started training for it and like um, uh, properly training with a coach um, in September 2015 and then I had my first Red Bull comp in 16. That is amazing! <laughs> so it, it is something that you can actually pick up, like obviously with a lot of dedication and commitment. Stephen, how was this location for you? For me, this location was absolutely fantastic. Um, this is my fourth or fifth time in Ireland and we've done competitions in two other locations. Um, and I said the first day we got here, it was windy and rainy and a little dark. Uh, but there's a certain energy about this place. I think the, you know, within the cove and the, the raw Atlantic Ocean kind of crashing into that. And I knew for sure that this was going to be a special event. Diving into this cold water is obviously a bit of a shock to your system. Yeah, the, you know, the water is really cold. The good news about that is that um, your adrenaline is spiked at that point, And so the cold water doesn't seem quite as bad. But yeah, then when you're out and the adrenaline comes down a little bit, you're kind of just shivering in your bathing suit in the wind, so. And you've been to Ireland a couple of times, as you said, but like, how did you find Mayo? So we did get around County Mayo just a little bit. Um, we went up to Bleak Castle, had a wonderful event up there. Again, I have a special 
place in my heart for Ireland and, and this location really is something to, to behold. I love your little shamrocks on your t-shirt. Thank you, I thought that would bring me just a little bit of luck today. It did not as much as I wanted, but it did help a bit. Oh, no, so. Fair play, you did a brilliant job. Thank, Thank you very you much, very Stephen. Much. Thank you.